All right, guys, I want to have a little chat today about a video game. I can't stream the game. Well, I could, but it's, uh, I don't have the, the equipment to stream it. Well, I do I have a PS4, but I can only do it for like an hour. And I don't have a Twitch account. I may need to make one. But the game that I want to discuss today is Resident Evil 8 Village. I've had some time to sit and play this game. And I've completed it twice since it came out. I'm on my third run of it now in hard, hardcore mode. And whoo, it's rough. So, what are my thoughts when I first played the game? The opening is kind of slow paced. I mean, I'm not going to say anything that will spoil it for anybody. But it's kind of slow paced, you know, and it takes a minute. For the game to really get going. But once it does. It is insane. Like there's. All kinds of cool weapons. That you would normally get. In like RE6. Assault rifles. Machine guns. Sniper rifles. Pistols. Shotguns. Magnums. And there's a few new ones. That I won't discuss. That they've added. And the inventory system. Is very well laid out. It's very cool. The graphics, even on the PS4 version, look really good with the HDR that it supports. And the music takes you right back to playing those old games. Amazing. The puzzles, there's quite a few of them. And one of them really stumped me for a little bit. I had to sit here and think about it. And I was like, hmm, am I going to have to look this up? But no, I refused. I refused to look anything up on my first playthrough of this game. Granted, I was on easy. But still, I refused to look up any kind of strategies, any kind of walkthroughs. None of that stuff. When you play these games, play them through the first time without looking at any walkthroughs, any strategy, strategy, strategies, and puzzle solutions, you know, and the map. The map on this, I actually had to use. I've never had an RE game confuse me so much to where I would have to use the map. And I opened that thing more times in this game than I have opened it in any Resident Evil game. And it still left a lot to be desired as far as where you're supposed to go, what you're supposed to pick up. And the story is awesome. It's so good. And if you, before you play this one, if you're planning to play it, go back and play 7 again. Because at first, I didn't really like 7. And even now, it doesn't hold my interest. But after completing this one, I want to go back and play part 7 again. Because I have a whole new respect for Ethan. Ethan Winters, the main protagonist in this game. I thought he was just some random character that they threw into the universe. But when you play this one, you'll figure it all out. I'm not going to say anything about the story to spoil anything for anybody. But my first playthrough was roughly 10 hours and 2 minutes. And if you do everything that this game has to offer in one run, there's well over 15 hours of gameplay. But you won't be able to because there's a lot of stuff you'll have to come back and do. Like play through it again and do some other stuff. Like if you're trying to speed run, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do everything that the game has to offer in one playthrough if you're trying to speed run it. Which there is a trophy for completing it within three hours. So that's pretty cool. And then, let's see what else we can talk about here. The enemies. When you play on easy and normal, not too bad. The game is pretty well, it's fast paced, but it's not crazy fast. But when you hit hardcore and you hit Village of Shadows difficulty, they're in your face before you even realize they're coming at you. It's like, holy shit, man. I'm playing hardcore right now, and it is hardcore. And then Village of Shadows is so hard that people have said, 
It is designed for infinite ammo play. So you better unlock you some infinite ammo before you try to attempt that run. Holy Jesus. I watched a buddy of mine play it through share play on my PS4 and just watching him put me under stress. I was like, Jesus Christ, dude, how are you supposed to have time to react? And then the boss fights. The boss fights were like just wide open all the time. There's only one that's really kind of bland, but you guys may feel different about that than me. But it's very cool, dude. All the bosses are fun. And there's one enemy. Well, not really an enemy. But a thing in the game that made me pause my game, turn off my TV, sit here, and collect myself. Because it scared me so much. And I have not had a Resident Evil game scare me like that in a long, long time. And even now, I've played through it twice. And I just finished that part on Hardcore about two hours ago. And I was still on edge and nervous about going through this section. And then the final boss fight. Very fun. For lately, the final boss fights in RE games have been pretty bland. Pretty forgettable, you know. But this one, really cool. I can't wait to do it again on Hardcore and see if I can make it through it. Can I do it? Probably not. But we're gonna, I'm going to try. Because I want to complete all those challenges. Get all the CP points. So I can unlock everything this game has to offer you. You will be doing that stuff for hours. There's a mercenaries mode. They've brought back. That's a lot of fun. Reminds you of Resident Evil 4 mercenaries. Very cool. And then there's RE Verse. That is a. I think it's like a 7 player asymmetrical multiplayer game where it's like a free-for-all you kill each other that comes out in the summertime sometime in either next month or july but i can't really talk about it too much without spoiling anything for people that haven't played it since it's relatively new but i'm really loving it it's like you're playing a classic resident evil game but it's modernized they really hit the mark with this one in my humble opinion so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and uh, I wish I could talk about it more, but I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. And when I can, I'll get I'll get a stream up of it on my YouTube channel, if anybody wants to watch. But everyone, have a great day, and please like and subscribe if you feel the need to. And go out and pick you up a copy of RE Village on PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X, or Xbox One. And play through it for yourself. It's an amazing game. I'm really enjoying it. Everyone, have a great day. Thanks for watching.